I think what people are looking for in a fellowship application are three things. So the person, the place, and the project. And especially for a fellowship, the person has to be absolutely first, first and foremost, you have to make the case why you as an individual are the best person for this project and the best person to get the fellowship. And sometimes that can be hard for people because writing a fellowship is a little bit different than how we normally write science. So a lot of the time when we're presenting results, it's the project that is um, the result of a collaboration. And that is actually part of the exciting part of doing science is being in a collaboration. So we use a lot of words like we. So we found this and when we analyze these data, this is what we found. But in a fellowship application, what's really important is you have to sell yourself as the scientist. So I have this skill, I have this expertise, which I can apply to this particular problem, which is really important. And I think that's the biggest difference, I think, that people sometimes struggle with at the beginning. And then, of course, the science has to be absolutely robust. It has to address the BBSRC strategic priorities. And you have to be really clear and very concise about how you present that. And then the place is important as well. Why is it important that you do this project in this particular institution? And then if you can cover those three areas, then you're well in the way. Um, so I did definitely look quite closely at the, the handbook. Um, so again, just, you know, basic eligibility um, and then um, sort of what the process was to actually put the application together, um, understand the sort of sections that I'd be needing to write. Um, and then the other thing I found very useful was to then really closely look throughout the BBSLC's website on their information about the things like their strategic priorities and the kind of areas that were really um, sort of a hot topic for them and I could then really see how um, my research fit within those strategic priorities or those certain areas and then that actually helped me write the application because as I was writing I was thinking about those key terms that they're actually put out there as, in terms of what their research interests are and how I could actually make sure I'm making that really clear that, um, that I'm actually hitting those kind of targets with this particular work program. One of the advice that I got from uh, my uh, mentor was uh, make it uh, simple, um, like don't complicate things, don't try to sh uh, put everything into like three or four work packages. So have like three questions that, e that are easy to follow and uh, make application kind of like it's uh, ambitious at the same time it is feasible. So so I think that was a very good advice. The other advice I got from uh, the, um, my uh, other colleagues uh, who have been have gone through this kind of process or different fellowship applications. So one of the advice I got was about uh, not making three objectives dependent on each other. So because if you have like one first object fails, objective fails, then all, all other objectives also fail, right? So so not do not make like a cascade thing so have like a so there is a connection between three objectives but at the same time they shouldn't be like heavily dependent on each other so that was a very good advice that i got and also another thing i got from my um, uh, supervisors was about have a backup plan for each and uh, uh, each objective so like in case like you if you're planning to do these experiments and you want to achieve that in a short period of time and if that fails what kind of backup plans you have so that was a, that was also very good uh, advice i would say i think the first one is the most obvious pick something that you're really excited about this is going to be your career if you get it for the next three years and so it's important that you pick something that really excites you and then that will also come across in how you write and present the project the second thing i would say is that it's important to speak to people within your institution the finance people, the admin folks on how to make sure that you meet all the eligibility criteria and that you get everything, all the forms, all the attachments correct. And then the third thing I would say is really important, and this is absolutely critical, is get as many people as you can to read your application. Both people who are expert in the subject that you want to explore, but it's also really important to get people who are not expert in that subject because what you think might be really clear in your application and obvious and not worth stating is probably not. And so it's those people who are not subject matter experts who are gonna be able to help you identify those areas. 
the more people you can get to read your application, the better. Um, and not just necessarily uh, people that are directly um, experts in the field that you're actually writing about, trying to get a sort of quite a broad range of people to read it. So see if you can actually get your message across in a coherent way. I think it's actually quite good to get people that are not experts in that research area. If they can read it and understand what you're trying to uh, say, and why uh, you think it's really exciting and important research to fund, then I think that, that's a really good thing. The first tip would be develop a coherent and impactful application. Um, building upon your, so that builds upon your um, prior track record, but at the same time that have opportunities uh, for you to develop your skill set. The second tip would be um, develop a very uh, good or strong supporting network, a collaborative network, and justify that well in the in your application. And third would be uh, just uh, explain uh, how this fellowship fits within your. A career plan and how that will make you transition into a group leader position at the end of your uh, fellowship. Good luck and enjoy the process and it can be challenging but regardless of whether or not you are successful it will still be a useful process.